in today's video we are doing the highly anticipated Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. So I posted this look on my Snapchat probably now about two to three weeks ago and you guys were blowing my Snap messages up with requests for a tutorial. So because it was a little bit more pinkish I decided to put it off a little bit longer until Valentine's Day and I wanted to get it up in an adequate amount of time so that way you guys could go out and get products or practice it or anything that you need to do before Valentine's Day comes around. Um, one of my subscribers actually requested that I put it out at least a week in, me, in advance so she can go out and grab all the products that she needed for this video. So a lot of these products are products that I've used multiple different times in the in in tutorials meaning like the Moon Dust Palette by Urban Decay is the lid shade. As I mentioned to you guys way back in the summer this is it was a great palette to have if you are one that like really really sparkly shades. So I use the shade here Element which kind of has, it kind of is like orange but kind of pink at the same time. So it's kind of like a duochrome. So if I like tilt my head one way it'll look a little orange. If I tilt it another way it'll look more pink. And in the pan it, it's kind of the same way. But I mentioned to you guys way back in the summer when I first picked up this palette that is great for lid shades, sparkly shades, um, just you know just regular shades that you would place into onto the lid. So also I did use my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance, Modern Renaissance palette, which I know a lot of you guys do have because this was a really, really, really popular palette this past fall. So I used this palette as well as, as well as that palette. So if you have either one of these, mainly if you have this um, Moon Dust or our uh, Modern Renaissance palette, you could even use Vermeer as opposed to using this darkish pink shade if you want to, or if you have a pink shade, anything like that. But everything else is pretty much just what I have already had. Um, I did use Le Bronze, which is Jackie Ina's collaboration with Artist Couture. I used that as a highlighter, and then I did get a new gloss, but that's pretty much it. This is a number seven high shine lip gloss in the shade Sparkling Rose, and it is gorgeous. It's one of their newer glosses because they re like reformulated and repackaged and everything like that and it is gorgeous you guys. So and this kind of has like a dual chrome as well. So anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do don't forget to subscribe before you go. Also give it a thumbs up and leave me a cool comment down below on what else you would like to see or what you enjoyed about this video or anything like that and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Love you. Bye. Hey guys, so we're going to start off this video by applying a little bit of chapstick. This is the Burt's Bees Bright Crystals Chapstick in Pineapple. And my lips are always crusty, so I had to put a little chapstick on. And then I went ahead and primed my lips. I'm using the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. And I've been using whatever concealer I use to highlight my under eye concealer as my um, eyeshadow primer. Just because it just kind of makes it easier, so I don't have to grab a lot of or products. But we're going into the Modern Renaissance Palette, and we're taking the shade Real Gold on a Sigma E30 or E35 blending brush and I'm just working that into the crease as a transition shade this is a really bright orange shade and I wanted to kind of pull out so that way it pulls out of the orange in the lid shade and then I go ahead and take red ochre on a Sigma E25 blending brush this is a fluffier blending brush and I'm just working this into the crease it does kind of get lost because the orange is so bright but I really needed to add this step so a little bit of red peeks through as well and then I got thirsty so I ended up drinking a little bit of uh, Sunkiss or what is this stuff called Sunny D. But anyways, moving on, I go ahead and take um, Cypress Umber, which is a dark brown. This is a more cool tone brown, and I take it on a really dense E25 blending brush, and I packed on a lot of this out into the outer V, and then I started to blend it into the inner corner as well, just really making sure I add a lot of definition, because I'm going to lose a little bit of it when I go in with my eyeshadow. So I packed on a ton of that, then I went back in with the previous brush that I used Red Ochre on, just to add a little bit more red, and to blend the two shades together, and then I take my NYX Glitter Primer on an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. The reason I use the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush is because it's really thin and it really it's synthetic and it also helps to pack on these moon dust eyeshadows. So I apply it everywhere where I'm going to apply the moon dust shadows. Then I go into the moon dust palette and I take the shade, um, what shade is this? Uh, 
um, element, I believe it is, element, and I just packed that onto the lid. As I mentioned in the beginning, it's like a pink, like a hot pink, but it also has like some orange and gold reflex into it. Super duper pretty, super stunning, and it's also sparkly. And the reason I applied the glitter primer is because without the glitter primer, these shadows don't show up as pigmented as they really are. So I apply a little bit of black eyeliner into the waterline, and then I go in with my black NYC liquid eyeliner, and this is in the shade Extreme Black. And I'm just doing a generic wing liner. You can do a wing liner, you can just do a line across the lash line, whatever you're comfortable with, go ahead and do your liner. You can also go without liner if you want to. And then I applied the Iris Beauty Lashes in the style Athena. And then for face, I go ahead and I use the One Heck of a Blot Primer by Soap and Glory. This is a little bit more of a, pour, um, of a mattifying primer, so I'm using it just in my T-zone because that's where I get really, really, really oily. And then I apply my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade Mocha. As I was doing this um, foundation part in the video, I was like, oh my gosh, this looks really, really, really dark. I need to switch over to coconut because it is winter, so my shade is a little bit lighter as opposed to using Mocha, which is my summer shade, so I just need to go ahead and switch that up, so don't mind that. And then I go back in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn once again, and I do all of my highlighting. Since this is a Valentine's Day look, and this is a more dramatic Valentine's Day look, I am doing the extreme highlighting. So underneath the nose, chin, the cupid's bow, the forehead, and also down the bridge of the nose. And I go ahead and blend that off camera because y'all don't want to see me blend. You just don't, it's boring. <laughs> so moving right along, I'm using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm pressing this into the skin. So the reason I use this powder is because it brightens and also sets the under eye and also everywhere else. So I bake down the bridge of my nose and press the powder into the skin and all the other areas where I apply concealer. And then today I am using my Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Rich Mahogany. This shade does not show up really dark on my skin. It is a great contour powder, especially if you don't want to go with something super expensive. It is super duper duper nice. It's just not dark enough for my personal preference. I like my contour to be a little bit darker, but you know, whatever. For blush, I'm going in with Max Mineralized Blush, and this is in the shade Gleeful. It's a really pretty kind of sparkly, shimmery, like just a regular like blush shade super pretty i'm using that with an angled blush brush and then i go into le bronze which is a diamond glow powder created with or created by jackie Ina, and this is by artist couture and i'm using a sigma concealer brush and i'm putting that onto the cheekbones this is a little bit more of a, like a rose gold shade so i only like applying this into the outer perimeter so my chin cupid's bow the cheekbones all of that and then because it is a little bit like darker i go in with yes and i apply that just a little bit on the top this is a little bit lighter of a rose gold not as deep for us deeper girls like lebron's is but it's a little bit lighter so i apply it just right on the tip of the cheekbone and then on the sides of the forehead as well and then i go back up to the eyes and i put on my wig we got hair now y'all <laughs> and i apply a little bit more glitter primer by nyx and then i go in with um a another moon dust shadow this is in the shade specter it's, it looks kind of like it's really 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 pale pink it kind of looks white but it's an extremely pale pink eyeshadow so I just apply that in the inner corner just to brighten it up make it look a little bit more alive and awake and then for lips I go in with a Jordana lip liner and this is in the shade tawny pretty much my exact lip color my lips are pretty pink but this just kind of gives a little bit of structure and I also go in and fill it in a little bit more wherever I can. My lips were still pretty moisturized from that Birth Bees lip, um, lip chap chapstick. So yeah. And then I go in with my lip gloss and I'm using a number, the number sevens high shine lip gloss in the shade. I think it's Precious Petals or something like that. I'll link, I'll list it down below for sure. But that is a really, really, really pretty gloss. You guys, it's not too tacky or too sticky. It just feels really comfortable and it lasts quite some time. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy Valentine's Day to you all. If you do choose to recreate this look, tag me on Instagram so I can see you guys. I love you all and I'll talk to you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.